Tightness in the lower back, abdominal, and or thigh muscles can increase pain in the sciatic nerve, which runs from your lower back to the feet. But you can relax and strengthen these muscle groups with these 10 easy stretches. Number 10. Sciatic Nerve Glide Exercise. The sciatic slide exercise helps to relax and desensitize the sciatic nerve, improving the range of motion in the legs. This seated workout for sciatica relief is named sciatic nerve glide exercise. This exercise helps to relax and reduces the sensitivity of the sciatic nerve. To do this exercise, sit on a chair and straighten one knee while keeping the other leg on the floor. Gently bend your ankle so that your toes are pointing towards you. Continue to flex your ankles back and forth, pointing your toes away from you and toward you. To put more pressure on the sciatic nerve, if you can handle it, try to push the same nerve with your head tilted forward, bringing your chin closer to your chest. Pump your ankle up and down 10 to 15 times, then repeat with the other leg. Aim to do 3 reps with each leg twice a day. Number 9. Knee to Chest Exercise. This simple stretch targets the lower glutes and thighs. Step 1, lie on your back with your legs bent and feet flat on the floor. Step 2, bring one knee to your chest and place the other foot on the floor. Step 3, press your lower back into the floor and hold for up to 30 seconds. Step 4, repeat on the other side. Try 2 to 4 reps on each side. To make the exercise a little more difficult, place one leg flat on the floor while lifting the other to your chest. You can also bring your knees to your chest. Number 8. Sitting Spinal Stretch Sciatica occurs when the vertebrae of the spine are compressed. This stretch creates space in the spine to relieve tension on the sciatic nerve. 1. Sit on the ground with straight legs and bent feet up. 2. Bend your right knee and place your foot on the ground outside the opposite knee. 3. Put your left elbow on the outside of the right knee to help you gently rotate your body to the right. 4. Hold for 30 seconds and repeat 3 times, then switch sides. Number 7. Standing Hamstring Stretch Be careful when doing this exercise. If necessary, grab something and do not stretch the entire body. Step 1. Stand upright and place one foot on a slightly elevated surface, such as a step. Step 2. Straighten your legs on the steps with your toes pointing up. Step 3. Lean forward slightly, keeping your back straight. Step 4. Keep for 30 seconds. Remember to breathe. Step 5. Repeat with the other leg. Try to do 2-3 to three repetitions with each leg. Number 6. Lying, Deep Gluteal Stretch If you lack flexibility, you should modify this exercise slightly. Step 1. Lie on your back with your legs flexed. Lift your right ankle and place it on your left knee. Step 2. Place your fingers behind your left thigh with both hands and gently pull them toward you while keeping your head and back on the ground. Step 3. Keep for 30 seconds. Step 4. Repeat with the other leg. You should place a book or a firm pillow under your head and raise your head slightly. If you can't easily reach your thigh, you can wrap a towel around your thigh and use it to pull your thigh toward you. Repeat 2 to 3 times for each leg. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get more informative videos. Number 5. Pelvic Tilt Exercise Here is another exercise that may seem simple but is so good for sciatica. Step 1. Lie on your back with your legs bent and your arms at your sides. Step 2. Tighten your abs, press your back into the floor, and tilt your hips and pelvis up slightly. Step 3. Hold this position, imagining your navel touching your spine. Don't forget to breathe. Step 4. Release after a few seconds. Then repeat. Try to do 8-12 to 12 repetitions. Number 4. Figure 4 Stretch The figure 4 stretch can help open your hips. There are several versions of this stretch, but to reduce sciatica pain, you can follow these instructions. 1. Lie on the back and bend the knees. 2. Cross your right foot over your left thigh and bring your legs up towards your torso. 3. Hold the position for a moment, then repeat on the other side. 4. 
It is important not to force this stretch. Instead, let gravity more naturally pull your leg closer to the body for a deeper stretch. Number 3. Standing piriformis stretch. Here's another stretch that can help with sciatica pain. You can do this without support if possible, or you can stand against a wall and place your feet about 24 inches from the wall. 1. Place the painful leg on the knee of the other leg while standing. Bend your standing leg and try to lower your hips to the ground at a 45 degree angle for a count of 4. 2. Bend at the waist and swing your arms, keeping your back straight. Hold the position for 30 to 60 seconds. 3. Switch legs and repeat. Number 2. Glute Bridges The gluteus maximus is a group of muscles in the buttocks. If they are tight, they can compress the sciatic nerve. Step 1. Lie on your back on the floor with your knees bent. The feet should be shoulder width apart. Relax your arms at your sides. Step 2. Working through your heels, lift your hips until your body creates a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Step 3. Hold this position for a few seconds. Step 4. Slowly lower your hips to the floor. Then repeat. Good posture is important for this exercise. Avoid arching or rounding your back. Try 2 or 3 sets of 8 to 10 repetitions. Number 1. Forward Pigeon Pose. 1. Kneel on all fours on the floor. 2. Lift your right leg and move it forward on the ground in front of your body. Your calf should be on the ground, level with your body. The right foot should be in front of the left knee, while the right knee remains on the right side. 3. Extend your left leg to the floor behind you, your foot on the floor, and your toes back. 4. Gradually shift your weight from your hands to your feet so that your feet can support your weight. Sit up straight, arms at your sides. 5. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, lean your upper body forward over your front legs. Support the weight on your hands as much as possible. 6. Repeat on the other side. It is important to mention that sciatica is the result of swelling and inflammation in the back. If symptoms persist or worsen, see your doctor. Keeping proper posture while sitting, standing, and walking is important for a healthy back. Don't hesitate to leave a comment and share your ideas with us. Thank you, guys, for watching.